10K Fungo Room or in the Katanga, a solid matrix of pretty solid uh, malachite. I may be getting mixed up with Mashamba and Tenke, but uh, it's just coincidental that the, uh, the the solid malachite I'd expect more from Mashamba and less from Tenke, because there doesn't seem to be a healthy dose of Krasakala on these. Uh, but let's go with Tenke because uh, we'd have the the uh, crystal underlying crystal formation coated with the Druzy quartz. Now, in this case, we have the the malachite crystals, maybe malachite after barat or barat, which got replaced by malachite, which has been dusted with a layer of Druzy quartz. There does seem to there are traces of of Krasikala here. You see on that section, and then typically on this particular matrix, I have found associations of cuprite. And I have found um, a pseudo malachite, which which uh, manifests itself as a, a little blue green uh, botroids, uh, waxy waxy in appearance, uh, uh, forming on the the quartz. So so on top of the druzy quartz. But please note, I, I don't see any at this particular moment. I will look under magnification and we might find some. Now, accurate color indication is pretty much that. Maybe a little bit lighter. There we go. Let's go into that vac. Just keep it in focus. Move around like this. Move around like that. I think when technology advances, it would be nice to have a camera which follows the main object and uh, also doesn't overexpose at certain angles. But that's, uh, well, now 2021, maybe in a few years' time we'll have exactly that. We have guys working it all the time. All the way from the uh, Katanga Copper Crescent in the Congo, Copper Mines, Copper Belt of the Congo.